Hey there players, how's it going? This is Tim from Game Invaders and today I'm checking out this game Oxen Free. This is a bit of an adventure game where you walk around and discover clues and it's a, a bunch of teenagers so a bit different to a lot. Let's check it out. Yo. It used to be a military base. Well, it used to be a ranching thing, then it was turned into an army thing, then it became a bird thing and a museum or whatever. Henry Fonda stationed here, I think, for a bit. Unless he was Navy. Who's Henry Fonda? Around Christmas time, this little breakfast place used to sell these amazing polar bear sugar cookies. Man, those were good. And then one year they changed the formula or whatever and ruined it. Alex? Hey, still with us? You haven't said anything for like 10 minutes. Mission control to Alex. This is Big Papa. Do you read me? Yeah, um, sorry. So you all moved in? Um, not, not really. I just got in this morning. And how did her mom meet your dad exactly? <laughs> they met on vacation in Orlando. He got lost in a, you know, actually, I'm not even gonna tell this story. It's really not worth it. <laughs> okay. No, wait, what happened? I feel like I haven't heard this. He got lost in some gardens, and he thought she worked there, and blah blah blah, they hit it off. Aww, that's downright adorable. And you guys just met tonight? Yeah, I was, um, I'd been out of school, and the timing had just never worked out, so... And what does that make you to her, then? Hey, uh, second cousin? Uh, he's just a guy. What else would he be? No, but isn't there, like, a term for it? Um, stepbrother, technically. Oh, yeah. I forgot that was even a thing. Well, at least you seem cool, right? Cool guy, cool hat. You get a cool new sibling living right in your house. Sharing your toothbrush. Wearing your clothes. Eating. Yeah, sure, whatever. I have someone to reach the food on the top shelf now. Just happy to be on the team. So... How do you two know each other? Oh, from way back when, like Paleozoic. Hey, there's an old ship's wheel up here. It's a replica from a Portuguese caravel, it says? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I think the Portuguese discovered the island. I don't know. I mostly slept through the maritime portion of history class. But yeah, world friends and... Uh, who's the... Uh, who's driving this? That's Sea Captain Karen. She's doing us a favor. You'll notice we're the only ones doing the voyage. How you doing up there, Karen? Yeah, what's up with that? Does no one normally go there at night? Nobody really lives there, so no. And Karen's not gonna mind that we're spending the night. Check under your seat to make sure you don't leave behind any grandchildren. Uh, wait, who's talking right now? It's a recording. They always play. Oh, oh, we should get a quick picture. All of us. This will be like Yeah, let's do it. And it's Jonas? Not Jonah? Yeah, Jonas. Like Jonas Salk? Right, patient zero, AIDS guy. Jonas. It means oppressor, right? Yeah, but I mean, my sign's cancer, and it's not like my hair's falling out or anything. Here's good. Come on, Alex, join the fun. We, uh, need a girl in the picture, Alex, to balance some of this out? There! Great! I'll magic erase all the warts out and stuff, so don't worry. Hey, Alex. You brought the radio, right? The little portable one? Yeah, of course. Perfect. Can you pull it out a second? There's the little guy. Our high school has a radio station, and Carly, she's a friend of ours. She's filling in because Reggie got mono from some track runner or something. It doesn't matter. What matters is that she's going to say something like, basically, right now, about our thing. So tune it to 88.3 so I can tell her we heard it. It's, uh, to the left of the... Which I played because that song has been stuck in my head since I woke up this morning. But, oh... Oh, actually, it's a little after 10 o'clock, which means my dear friend Ren and his buddies are probably just touching down on Edwards Island for the yearly bash on the beach, or whatever we call it now. But anyways, I promised him that I'd play a song from his band, so hope you're listening, Ren. Here are the red-headed bedwetters with baby carrots. <laughs> that 
That's awesome. I hope Christina, with her talent show judge face, was listening. We must be getting close. There's no radio reception on the island. I'm glad I got to hear it before it went totally kaput. If we can't use it, why'd you bring it? Not just for the boat. Um, no. You'll see. I don't expect too much, but nah, it'll be fun. I won't undercook it. You'll see. Smell that clean air, boys and girls. Boy and girl. This ain't city living. Yeah, um, anybody need a smoke? I have a full pack. Uh, oh, uh, no thanks. I mean, I literally just said the clean air thing, so... Alex, you can bum one off me if you're empty. Oh, uh, no thanks. I don't smoke. Last time I had one, it didn't go well. Yeah, no, I didn't know what coughing with your whole body meant until I saw you dry heaving. <laughs> okay, just checking. Alright, my other friend should be up and around the bed. Actually, that... I mean, I don't mean to be the guy to break us up already, but Ren, can you do me a favor? Can I have, like, two real quick minutes with Alex for a second? And you can, you know, you can run up and meet your friends? Uh, really? Just... That's kind of... Take... Wait, is, is something wrong? What is it? Nothing's wrong, nothing's wrong. It'll just take two minutes, super fast. All right, bud. <laughs> uh, look, I, I don't want to go up by myself. I mean, can't we just stick together? You're gonna have all night to say, like, whatever. But since you want to meet up with your friends anyway... We're all gonna meet up with them. It's like a bunch... Come on, Jonas, this is... Let's just all go up. I don't want to send Ren away like a deer hound. Yeah, it's fine. And you can talk to Alex later. We're like at hour one here. You'll have ample family bonding time. Uh, yeah, fine, sure, no problem. Okay, speed read definition of Edwards Island. This is a tourist trap with shops and a beach. Nobody lives here except for some geriatric named Mrs. Adler. But, as God is my witness, we'll never mention her or any other old person's name again. We are here to drink and be stupid. A tradition- It's kinda kitschy. Right? It's kinda kitschy. What? The town? I like it. I like kitschy stuff. It's like the opposite of ugly, scratchy nature. So, to summarize, we are not allowed uh, here after dark. If nobody the lives town here and is the shut down, closed, and we, whose the car is this? High junior class, oh, there's have always come to that one lonely acts. car in every parking lot. Anyways, the town's youths keep the whole slink over and camp thing alive and well. No, 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 I, um, I, I got it. Improper acts? Ah, oh, I forgot this was even here. So, this is cool. What is it? It's a memorial for a sunken submarine. Alex, tune to 102.3 so we can hear the guy. It's kind of a weird little, like... Uh, okay, sure. It's just, uh, 102.3. Won't take long, I promise. Really, it's, uh, it's pretty interesting. Nah, it's all right. I don't have to hear it. Uh. Anyways, Jonas, it's like the only time in history an American sub was destroyed in our waters or something like that. Its propeller was the one thing recovered, so they made it into, like, a monument. The crew are listed on the plaque thing. War is hell. The only prescription for war is war. And the other thing is the weirdo caves. Weirdo caves? The whole reason Alex brought her radio is because when you go to the... It's like... The front. The mouth. The mouth of this particular cave, you can sometimes pick a frequent... Damn, they close up early. I guess no point in staying open if nobody's here. That's true. So yeah, we brought the radio because in the cave you can hear a bunch of spooky crap. Really? Really! <sighs> no way, come on. Alex has always been a devout skeptic, even though the fourth grade field trip proved it without a shadow of a doubt. Oh god, whatever. So, back up a second. Who's Mrs. Adler? Her family, I think, like, owns or owns some of the island or something? She's been checked. The beaten path officially ends here. The beach is past the fence. I think... Jerry told me that there's a way that it used to get over there, but I'm blanking on what it was. But it's not... I mean, it can't be too difficult. I think the dumpster will get us over if it'll... budge. Well, let's try it. But yeah, Maggie Adler, that's it. The only person who lives here. 
She's never left the island. I can't imagine living in the same exact house, looking at the same exact walls for that long a time. Well, it takes a certain someone. And actually, you know what? Speaking of the opposite of those certain someones... Oh, uh, before we get there, I should, I should probably mention that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Who's that? That's, so, there's this girl, Nona. She's just this girl, and I'm totally into her, and I want her to be into me, so just, you know, j just be cool, okay? No pouting or complaining or anything, all right? Deal? Ren, relax. Oh, what was the thing you wanted to say to Alex, Jonas? You can just pretend I'm like Just a... leave it alone, Ren, all right? You don't have to hear everything. I don't have to hear everything, but I want to hear everything. It's not a big deal, really. Reginald, I hear you over there. Hey, guys. Wait, I was saying... I was about to tell a story. What was it? About Brad's car. Oh, well, that can wait. Hey, we started a fire down the way, but Nona wanted to play Beach Nanny, so... Uh, yeah. Hi. Hi. And Jonas, that's... Who are you? Jonas. That's Jonas. He's Alex's new in town, fresh as the daisy stepbrother. Stepbrother? Really? Yeah, I know. It's a trip, right? Yeah, he's a cool guy from cool North Valley, so let's all try and show him a good time. <laughs> Just the beach and some beer will be enough, I'm sure. Wait, wait, wait. You're Jonas. Jonas, the stepbrother. Yeah. Um, what's your name again? That is Clarissa. How but are she's... you her stepbrother? Like, what does that even mean? Um... Uh, her mom is marrying my dad, so, you know. Yeah, well, I guess this is happening now. This is a thing that is happening, so... <sighs> Where is everyone else? Nicole had that tennis thing. And? Uh, who else was supposed to come? Anyone? Everyone? Clarissa, we... <laughs> we took the last ferry. I thought more would show up, but... <laughs> oh my god, it's just Alex and her new stepbrother? Huh, that's it. That's who you brought. That's the group. Ugh, come on, Clarissa. I'm fun. I'm hip. I'm with it. Listen to yourself. Wait, aren't you all, like, friends? I'm friends with Nona, and I'm downgrading Ren to, like, a creepy neighbor. And you I just met. <laughs> well, sorry. I accept your apology. Thanks. You see, Jonas, normally this is like a 20-deep rager, but Pat had a party last weekend, and... And a bunch of kids got caught TPing the school. But this is great, right? We're on Edwards Island. Forget those losers who couldn't handle the weekend, who didn't think we could make it, who lost my invitation, who had to go Faster. on there. Their... We've been hearing about this for years, and now we're going to do it. This is going to be amazing, right? Right, guys? Yeah, the beach, island stuff. Yeah. Fire, man's great equalizer. So, what's the, um, what's the, like, thing to do here? Other than obviously go skinny dipping and get murdered by Jason Kruger. Yeah, let's just get drunk. It's supposed to be a party, right? Hey, where does that old woman live? Oh, you mean Maggie Adler? Yeah. Nowhere. She's dead. What? Yep, killed over three days ago. It was all over the news. Local news, anyway. Oldest living resident. Hey, we could go see her house. It must be huge. She was rich as No, we can't see her house. There's a giant fence, and I don't want to tear my jeans trying to climb it. And to answer your previous question, Jonas, the thing to do is lay on the beach and drink till you can't remember where you are. And sometimes play truth or slap. Yeah, let's play that. We can inaugurate Jonas. Ease him into the night's festivities. Isn't it a truth or dare? This is better than truth or dare because nobody ends up licking somebody's butthole. You get asked a question. You have to tell the truth, but if somebody can prove that you lied, the accuser gets to slap you. It's a good, uh, getting to know somebody game. Yeah, fun. An excuse to hit run. Hey, I'm the truthiest truth, whoever All truth, right, let's uh, just get on with it. Okay, so, first, we're I'll gonna... I'll start. Run. Uh-huh. Come on, fess up. You want to go out with Nona, right? Clarissa! 
Wait, wait, wait. I want to hear his answer. Oh, in. man. You're good at this. Well, if being good means being kind of mean about it. Look, it's tough to gauge. Uh, something <laughs> like... Enough stalling. I know you want to sample the goods. Now no, just face it. I mean, I, I, I like her as a friend, right? That's... I just like her as a friend. That's... That's all. She's cool. She's... She's just a friend. Oh, yeah, right. Let's ease off the throttle for the next one, okay, Clarissa? Yeah. What? This game isn't any fun if you don't get a stomach ache. Okay, it's Ren's turn, right? He gets to ask somebody something. Alex, Alex, Alex! <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh, please. Shoot, I can take it. Okay. Mary, screw, kill. Me, Nona, and Clarissa. Why? What? It's fun. It's funny, I don't know. And Jonas is family now, technically. So he's excluded. Well, I'd marry Nona. I like the quiet types. I'm flattered, I think. <laughs> Okay, you're going down the line. Clarissa, obviously. <laughs> obviously. You're not gonna call her out on that? No, I believe her. I mean, look at me. And wait. Wait, that means you'd kill me? Out of everyone here, your best friend. Oh, yeah. Sorry, it, it just worked out that way, I swear. And I'm the only guy. This is Miss Andrea. Miss Andrea, I say. Okay, settle down. So, Alex's turn? Yep. Ladies' choice. Alex gets to pick who to ask something of. Oh, great. Here we go. What's your favorite stuffed animal? Professor... Uh, Jonas. <laughs> yeah? Tell the truth. How do you really feel about your dad marrying my mom and the fact that we're now de facto organ donors? Well, unless you turn out to be crazier than you look. That'd be hard. I think it's fine. Only known her one night and is already fine with it. What a guy. Is it my question now, then? Yep. Okay, Clarissa, um, last person you made out with. Oh, um, uh, maybe something else. Or, yeah, maybe, who's the last person you, uh, hugged and said? Ah, uh, great, this should be good. Oh, will you all relax? I've made out with people since, God. Anyways, um, that would have to be Ryan Fisher, two weeks ago in Iggy's I den. I knew it. Yeah, well, he was there, and I was tired. Clarissa's turn now. Alex, you got a new brother. Pretty exciting. I'm sure Jonas is excited, or maybe... Excited isn't the right word. Maybe a little overwhelmed with just everything, you know? Unsure. It's a lot to take in and adjust. He, uh, seems okay, right? You're okay. Yeah, but, uh, thanks, I guess. I'm just saying what Jonas is already thinking. That statistics show if you get divorced once, you're probably gonna get divorced again. And the fact is, your mom divorced your dad. So let's put his mind at ease and hear why. I, I don't I don't really need to okay, know. Okay, just get to whatever point this is getting to. The point is, why'd your parents get a divorce? Just so Jonas can hear it from you. Clarissa, I don't really care why they got a divorce. Just that Alex's mom You know why. Michael died and it broke everything and they couldn't handle it the end well now you know jonas don't die and everything will be fine yeah like like a some weird cocktail or something and they didn't know what she was talking about and john of course is all nervous and they basically got kicked out so they didn't even get to see any of like the so, stuff the cave what's your bets on a scale of one to ten how weird's it gonna be i don't know a one Renz pulled me into a closet to look at a broom he swore looked like Abraham Lincoln, so adjust your expectations accordingly. <laughs> All right. Hey, Chris seems to be her normal annoying self. Sorry about that. Eh, it's not your fault. I think somebody dumped pig's blood on her in a previous life, and now she just wants to get ahead of the curve. <laughs> yeah, probably. Thanks for, uh, not ratting me out to Nona during the, uh, the game. I didn't think you would, but... You know, you could've, and you didn't, so thanks. Now, who's ready to have their minds blown? If you don't mean that literally. Me, me, me! Oh, wait, actually, I almost forgot. Gonna take a little magic trip to Cupcake Town. Those look like brownies. Magic? What does that mean? It means they're enhanced with certain qualities. Hmm, well, maybe just don't eat too much. No promises. Hmm. Delicious. Okay, so see these little piles of rocks? The kids before us always leave them here, so you know where to try and tune in the signals. 
So you're going to want to stand basically right around here. And just tune the dial left or right until you start hearing some weirdness. How will we know when it's... You'll know. Trust me. So just pull out your radio. Any day. While we're young, please. Holy crap! Wow, it's even cooler than I thought it would be. This- How- How is this- How can this be possible? Maybe the tuning's like unblocking a weather balloon or something? <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. Well, it's just crazy, then. Cause I don't know. If you move around, it kind of changes, too. I think. Like, over at this pile. Here, come over here and try it. This is so cool. I know! Clarissa and Nona should see this, right? I mean, I know it's like weird with you guys or whatever for some reason, but... God, it sounds so... Yeah, it sounds... Uh... Satanic. Not what I was gonna say. But close enough. Wait, what was that? There's like... This is gonna sound stupid, but there's like something in here. Famous last words. Famous last words. Uh, yeah, what is that? I'm sure there is something in there. Like, a giant rabies-filled bat, or a maniac who wears mannequin wigs. Or, it kind of looks like a pool or something. Like a freshwater one, maybe. Let's check it out. It's not that far in. If it's a pool, that'd be cool. I, um, didn't mean that to rhyme. <laughs> cool pool. Fortune favors the bold. <laughs> Bye. Wait a minute! Jonas! Well, I am going to just rest against here. Because I think... Shh, I think I mismeasured the magic. Why would a guy bring an ashtray down here? Or a pen? See a man about a dog. Are you okay? Ah, Jesus, you scared me. What are you even doing? I'm sorry for going ahead. I thought... I thought I heard somebody down here, but... You know... Obviously, there isn't. But isn't this place incredible? I mean, I don't even know how this... how this happens. No, it's, uh... it's beautiful. See? That's what I heard. It sounds like a person almost, right? Kinda? I don't know where it's coming from. What could that be? Echoes? Sounds of the ocean bouncing off the walls? It's me, I failed geology. <sighs> There was a light in here somewhere. Like, what is this made out of? 
Is it ice? What? Wow, how is that? Did, did do you see the floating, um, triangle light thing? Um, apart from the, um, triangle, this is honestly the craziest thing in here. Like, how did it even get in? And I mean, aside from some, like, water damage, it's not really even that junky. I know. But I was just gonna say that I think the triangle looking... Saw the man, not the dog. What the crap does that mean? A guy who can't see dogs? Did you see the first half? See a man about a dog? Yeah, I don't get it either. I think this is all tied to when you tuned in those weird sick... I guess it's locked. Yeah, I already tried. Try your radio. Maybe that's like a frequency or something. Like if it'll have an effect. Yeah, good idea. Maybe it'll dance or twitch or something. Let's do it. Come on. Radio time. Oh my god. Is this... Are you... Is this... You? Are you doing this? Should... Should I stop? No! This is awesome! insane uh who are are you who are you on the listen bob tail she tail sleeping time is possible i i i don't know what you mean so i can't bob tail leave children bye see you soon <laughs> 